Hello my darlings and welcome to my spell oil series. Today I'm going to share my recipe for Van Van oil. This spell oil can be used to change your luck and for success in romance and business and for many other magical workings. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a series where I share recipes for 12 very popular spell oils. So if you're interested in more spell oil recipes, please check out those other videos. I'll link to them below. You can also watch a video in which I create a book of shadows page for each of the spell oils in the series. And if you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs, and I'll continue to add new, downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I put this printable label sheet on my Patreon as well. This sheet includes a label for each of the 12 oils in the series. You can print it out on label paper or print it on regular paper and glue, tape, or decoupage it onto your master bottle. If you'd like to download a PDF of the label sheet, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. Spell oils are also called conjure oils and they're used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, and root work. Their uses are as varied as the people who make them. Van Van oil is traditionally used for changing your luck and gaining success in love and business. But there are many other uses you can put it to and intentions that you can mix into your own bottle of Van Van oil. Before I talk about each ingredient and what it adds to the oil, I feel like I should say that this is my personal Van Van oil blend. You can find many recipes for this oil in books and online. The ingredients will always differ slightly. When making your own Van Van oil, you should incorporate the ingredients you have on hand and that provide the effects that you want in your oil. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right for you and what you have access to. There's no need to buy expensive herbs and spices unless you want to. You can use any bottle you have on hand for spell oil. I chose this tall thin bottle, but one with a wide opening can be a bit easier to add herbs into. This is called the master bottle. All of the ingredients are mixed into this bottle. I usually start with the dry ingredients, then add the essential oils, and finally the carrier oil. The recipe for Van Van oil came from Northern Africa to New Orleans. The main ingredient of Van Van oil is vervain, also known as verbena. Vervain, pronounced with the Southern Creole dialect, sounded like Van Van and so the oil got its name. Vervain or verbena is used to draw love, attract a mate, and inspire passion. From ancient Egyptian and Greek and Roman times, vervain has been regarded as an herb of Isis or Venus. I started out using a rolled up piece of paper as a funnel, but that didn't work very well. It really made a mess. After this, I went and found a real funnel. My second dry ingredient is salt for its protective and purification properties. And now I'm using a proper funnel and having much more success. I also added some lemon peel. Lemon emits positive energy and repels negative entities. I love adding lemon peel to my spells. It's uplifting and it's used for luck in business negotiations as well as love. I add ginger to heat up and activate all of the other ingredients. 
Adding ginger will speed up the results of your intentions in any spell oil. There are two ways to add ginger, either powdered or as an essential oil. I do not recommend using fresh ginger. Dried herbs and plants are best to prevent any contamination or mold growing inside your jar as the oil steeps for several weeks. I decided to add my ginger as an essential oil. Generally speaking, traditional Van Van oil is going to smell somewhat grassy and citrusy. However, I like to add rose essential oil, rose buds, and rose petals. And therefore, my version of this oil smells much more floral than fruity. I prefer a floral scent to an oil that I might want to wear on my skin. I add rose to bring success in love and especially self-love. I'm also adding vanilla for its calming scent and properties. Vanilla will also attract good fortune and promote a happy home. I did not have a whole vanilla bean pod to put into the bottle, so I decided to use a pure vanilla bean paste. Another option is vanilla extract. I'm adding vetiver essential oil for good luck and for dominance. This herb is said to help you win in court or at the gaming tables. It also repels negative energy. Vetiver is a powerful dominant addition to the oil. And after vervain, I think of this ingredient as the second most important element in Van Van oil to change your luck. Another lemony and grassy herbal scent is Palmarosa essential oil. Palmarosa will raise the energy of this spell oil and draw good fortune. Like ginger, this essential oil will give your spell oil and your magical intentions a boost. I am also adding lemongrass essential oil to open up opportunities and to draw love and luck. I have added nine ingredients into the bottle. You do not have to use this many for your oil. Use the ingredients that correspond to the use you're going to put your oil to. You don't have to follow this recipe exactly unless you want to. Once you've added all of your dry ingredients as well as your essential oils, it's time to add the main carrier oil. I use olive oil as my carrier oil in this case. Sweet almond oil is also a great option. You can use any carrier oil you have on hand. Once the master bottle is full, allow the herbs to steep inside for three to four weeks, shaking occasionally to mix them. Once the oil has steeped sufficiently, you can strain the herbs out of the oil using a cheesecloth lined strainer if that's your preference. I like to leave my herbs inside the oil. Keep the bottle tightly closed and store it in a cool place. This way, it can last from a year up to 18 months. There are many ways to use Van Van oil. It can be used to anoint candles, mojo bags, lodestones and other amulets, as well as in floor washes. A few drops can be added to your bath water or wear a drop or two behind your ears as long as you don't have any allergies to any of the ingredients. However you intend to use it, I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to create Van Van oil for your own magical crafting.